Dr. Nessin Rolhila Mandela's death came to many as a shock, not because he was not old enough to die, but because he had done too much for humanity, particularly Africans. Expectedly, he was celebrated by most Nigerian newspapers Friday. Report of his death dominated front pages as various headlines were captioned to celebrate him. The Sun newspaper's headline is, Ex-South African President Dies at 95, while the National Mirror put its plane, Nessie Mandela Dies at 95. The Vanguard has a beautiful picture of Mandela with the headline, Mandela Dies at 95. Daily Independent captioned it, Mandela, anti apartheid leader, dies at 95. The leadership newspaper was detailed in its front page. At last, Mandela goes home. Long walk of world most inspirational leader. As ITV crew went round, Abuja residents came out desiring to speak of the man many called Madiba. Mandela, it's, it's a very personal, personal thing to me. I, I received it with very great shock. I thought he was going to be with us even for up to his 100th year because it's somebody that has done a lot, a lot, a lot for humanity. Suddenly this morning I heard that he was dead and it was uh, shocking news to me. Well, his life, I like him because he's a dodgy fighter. He fought for the freedom of his people and he secured it. They believe that African leaders have several lessons to learn from the life and time of Nessie Rulhilala Mandela. The Nigerian leaders simulate him that he made a selfless sacrifice for his people. So if our leaders will be honest, humble and not pursuing riches. He doesn't just leave the he doesn't just say it, but he leaves the spirit. So I've not seen that in this part of the world. Our leaders have not been able to show commitment. They have not been able to show um, trust. This man was particularly not happy with the way many African leaders are paying tribute to Mandela, whose vision he argued they don't share. Can any of our leaders, past and present, claim that he has the kind of regard, the respect, the reverence that Mandela has throughout the world, none of them has it. It's a shame to them. They should learn. Not for them to be shouting, Mandela is dead. Oh, let Mandela. Let them show by example that they can behave like him. They can be like him. That's it by precept, not by, by example, not by precept. So if they are saying that Mandela is dead, or we are crying for Mandela, it's all, it's all a coconut tears. Can they behave like Mandela? Are they self accepted like Mandela? All the houses they have, all the money they have stolen, they are, the word they have carried about, they carry girlfriends, build houses of girlfriends, and all these things, and they are shouting that Mandela is dead. Mandela. They all believe that Mandela immortalized his name, perpetuate his race, and imprint a landmark on the soil of time. As ITV crew went around the city, there were signs that the three days morning declared by President Goodluck Jonathan for Mandela may not be taken seriously. At the headquarters of the Federal Ministry of Foreign Affairs, flags were fully flying several hours after the President's declaration and directive. The same is the case at the office of the Head of Civil Service of the Federation at the Federal Secretariat. Even at that, the glory of South African Madiba is still shining. World and African leaders are paying tribute to a man many believe is the greatest among his kinds. But will African leaders learn from the life and time of Nessie Rolhilala Mandela? That is just a big question. If they do, Africa no doubt will take its rightful place in the international community. From the Federal Secretariat, I am Ikharo Atta, ITV News, Abuja.